guys, let me tell you. Let me tell you how I knew this was God because like this was mad quick, right? What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So I had a comment talking about um, my timeline. They were really curious about my timeline, how like my interview and then my start date seemed really, really close. Um, and they wanted to know if this was the norm. And so that's what I'm gonna be talking about. My specific PA school timeline, you know, from applying to getting in to actually getting into PA school. Oh, and then they also had to, they had a question about like, is that the norm? Is the summer start the norm? Because they like their summers. <laughs> so I'm gonna be addressing that as well. So for me specifically, um, I had applied earlier the summer before. The school that I applied to, their deadline wasn't until March. However, apparently like something happened. I got an email saying, hey, your application along with like a couple other people was constantly saying sending, but it never sent. Would you still like to interview? And I was like, yeah, sure, absolutely, why not? Well, no, they were saying, hey, would you still like the supplemental application? So I was like, yeah, why not? So I, I put in the supplemental application. I did it literally, I think I got it maybe that Thursday or something or you know or that Friday and then there was supposed to be this big snowstorm and I was like oh my gosh I want to like get this off really quickly because they came to me and said do I want a supplemental application so I was like that must mean something this is a sign this is a sign from God so this must mean something so I was like how am I gonna get my preceptor, I guess you could say, the person that I shadowed to sign this form saying that, yes, I did all of these hours um, and I shadowed him and the people that were on the other PAs that were under his, I guess, leadership because we were gonna be snowed in. And so I called him and I was like, hey, could you please help me out? I, I would really love to um, put this off before the snowstorm happens. And he signed the paperwork for me and I got that stuff. I brought him some sparkling cider because I don't drink alcohol. So I brought him some sparkling cider as a thank you and a card. And I was like, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. But yes, yeah, so I thanked him. I got my supplemental application in. I got, um, then I received my email saying, hey, we would like to interview you. Um, now I was in school at the time and they were like, we'd like to interview you, um, you know, the 5th of April, which was about two weeks away and I was like oh okay sure um I'll work this whole me being in school thing out so um I I you know talked to my teacher and I was like hey I'm not gonna be able to be in class this day because I'm going to a graduate school for a PA school interview but I interviewed on the Wednesday which was a fifth I got my acceptance call on the Friday the seventh and guys let me tell you let me tell you how I knew this was God because like this was mad quick, right? And also, we had prayed about this. Me and my husband had prayed about it. We had put it up on our wall, like, no, on our fridge. We said like, I'm going to be accepted. No, so I had that I was gonna be accepted into PA school by June. Like I'd be starting PA school by June. When I got my interview date of April 5th, I was like, look, I'm gonna get my acceptance by the seventh and I just knew that I was gonna get my acceptance by the seventh. I didn't know anything about the school's like acceptance policy or how quickly they did send out their acceptances or you know make the calls. But when I got there on the fifth, that is exactly what he said. He said, you will know by the seventh. And I was like, God, I'm gonna just watch you work because I know that this is you. There is no way that I could have just pulled it out of the air that I was gonna get my acceptance by the seventh. But for God, <laughs> and he did it, and he got me that acceptance on April 7th, and I literally had about a month and a half to get ready for school because school started at the end of May, which was a summer start. Now, mind you, to answer this person's question, not every school has a summer start date. Um, there are schools that have the early summer start, which is in May. Um, I know there's a school, I think it, it's, is it Emory? I know there's a school in 
Georgia that has um, a start date in July. There's also schools that have start dates in August and September. And then you have your schools with like your spring kind of winter start dates of January. So depending on when you want to start PA school, what will be good for your life, you can look at those different start dates and you can choose what schools you want to apply to because there's start dates all through the year. Well, January, March, August, September, those are the main ones. But no, not every school uh, has a start date in the summer. You're, it's doable, you can do it. My timeline was really, really quick because God was moving amazingly fast. Um, and that's something, you know, like when it's your time, it's your time. He will let you know. I was doing stuff in the past and I was like, you know, trying to do things on my own. I was still like praying and stuff and I was still trusting in God, but it wasn't my time yet. I wasn't, he, obviously I wasn't ready, but when it became my time and I became ready, like he moved amazingly fast and he worked everything out and I'm grateful. So that's my specific timeline. It may not necessarily be how it works for you because you know God might have another plan for you, but <laughs> whatever it is, when he says, let's run, be ready. Have your, have your shoelaces laced up and ready to run. All right, but that was it. I mean, hopefully you guys got a little bit more insight and onto, insight onto like, me and my timeline and what I did and then how the rest of my school year will go um, as I start rotations. Uh, my, my breaks are still gonna be pretty much the same in terms of like getting a week off for Thanksgiving, that kind of thing. But that's it, that's what I'm gonna be rolling with for the next like year and some change, you guys. Uh, I cannot believe it. Almost a full year has passed, you guys. That's amazing. It's crazy. We've been on this journey, you guys, for almost a year together. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it, y'all. But anyways, like, we'll talk about that another time. Uh, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and join me on the journey. Hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Leave your comments in the comment section below and your questions as well, and I'll be sure to get to them as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, also, if you have PA related questions, I started this new thing, PA Q&A Tuesday. So if you see one of those videos, you can leave your PA related questions on that video as well, because I actually like talk the question out for you guys instead of just commenting. So do that. All right, thanks so much for watching you guys. I'll talk to you guys next time.